On this way, good morning. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Chris, you're watching Chris's Real Talk. It's Wednesday, the 8th of August 2018. I'm going to take this quick one to explain to everyone what's been happening recently. Um, I have mentioned what's been going on in two separate videos on Facebook in regards to someone trying, and I say trying because that's what it was, it was a good attempt to con me out of money. Um, if you don't want to watch this one, then feel free to catch up on those two on Chris's Real Talk on Facebook. Basically, someone contacted me on Facebook Messenger recently, and I'm gonna name drop because I believe this person to be, <coughs> excuse me, to be a bullshitter. Lauren Bowen <coughs> contacted me on Facebook Messenger <coughs> and said hi. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a tickly throat today. <coughs> so I said hi. I then said, uh, you know, what made you add me on, on Messenger? And she said, ah, I liked your picture, so I thought I'd say hi. So I said, you got a nice photo too, you know, profile picture, good picture. Now instantly alarm bells were ringing because on my Facebook or anything, on Messenger, you pretty much have to know me to add me, you know. But I've, you know, I thought I'd play along with this uh, bullshit circus. And um, this person was fishing around for information about me, so she said, what do you do? I said, ah, well, I work part of the uh, anti-fraud department in the UK. Ah, oh, that's, that's interesting. Tell me more about yourself. I said, now you tell me about yourself. And she said, uh, she's 29, just out of a relationship. You know, it hurts, blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, I'm terribly sorry to hear that. <coughs> Do you have kids, she said. I said, I have two. She said, tell me a bit more. I said, well, okay, fine. Well, I'm 34. I'm in a relationship. I had to emphasize that. You know, because <clears throat> I'm not an arsehole. I said, I'm in a relationship, 34. <clears throat> I have two kids. Okay. Uh, you know, so she then says to me, <clears throat> without a cough, do you have WhatsApp or hangouts? I said, I do. He goes, well, which one? I said, well, I have both. He goes, oh, do you want to use those instead of uh, talking on here? They're, so, they're secure, they're safe. I said, well, as I told you before, I work for anti-fraud, which I don't. And, uh, you know, it's pretty much as safe as it's going to get on uh, Facebook Messenger. In fact, you can actually click on secret conversations and then that becomes even more secure. Ignored me. Then sent me an email address. Now I'm gonna drop this email address in there because I believe it to be bullshit. The fact that she said she was 29 I believe. And it was laurenbowen59 at gmail.com and you can report this one all you want. I'm putting it out there because I believe this person to be a fraudster. So I want everyone to remember that email address in case she contacts you at any point or this person contacts you at any point because that's when alarm bells should ring. So I'm, this is me warning you, okay. And uh, so she sends me this email address, that's my hangout, so okay. Now bearing in mind, I know hangouts is not secure. It's not encrypted, it's not private. Things that you send to someone on a private message can actually be accessed through any browser. That was a quick Google search away. You see, because I'm, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. So I said, no thank you, I can, I'm more than happy to talk to you on here on, 
on Facebook Messenger. I then said to her, but I am a little bit concerned about the 5-9 in your email address name because most people put 5-9 as a year of birth. Now this must have rumbled this person because you've been rumbled because um, it took a while for this person to reply. I'm not going to say she, I'm going to say this person because it could have been, uh, you know, uh, a man, you know, a 59 year old man or however old and um, <clears throat> so I, uh, you know, I, I question the 59 and then she comes back to me about half an hour later and says, oh, it's the year, it's the, uh, how old my dad was when he passed away, you know, and that's why I added it. I thought, oh, okay, you know, I smell Billy bullshit, but okay, you know, not buying that. Try and sell it to me all you want, but I'm, I'm not buying it. So I was like, oh, okay. I said, well, as I told you, I work for anti-fraud. I'm a little bit concerned about this, you know. Prove to me you are who you say you are by sending me a picture of yourself, a selfie, with one eye open and holding up three fingers. A bit like that. You see, now I never sent this person that I just described that. To which I was given the reply this. I am sorry that you suspect me. Uh, you know, almost broken English going on there, considering this person's supposed to be from Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. And uh, <laughs> that's what she said, Austin, Texas. And, um, you know, so then I get the excuse of, oh, my phone's been playing up lately. It's, just, it's on the fritz, you know. I thought, oh, okay, the excuse has come out now. And then I get this, this is the kicker. This is what made me report this person to Facebook. I need to update my apps, but I can't do that without um, a card. So I said, well, what kind of card? An Amazon card. So then I said, at what point does an Amazon card have anything to do with your apps or updating? I said, you can do that with mobile data. I said, you can do that over Wi-Fi. I said, nice try. I am never going to buy you an Amazon card. And then that was the end of the conversation. And I then blocked that person and reported this person. The thing is, you cannot really buy someone an Amazon card and give it to them over Facebook. The only way that would work really is you would have to give them your bank account details. Then they would probably say, I'm only taking 10 pounds or $10 or whatever, which to me again, smells like bullshit. And then what they'd want is your long card number, you know, your three digit number at the back, your uh, name as it reads on the card, or failing that, your sort code and account number. Now I'm not gonna give those details out to anybody, anyone. And to be fair, even if you did have my card details, you'd get nothing out of there because there's nothing in there anyway. But the thing is this person tried, and I'm gonna say it again, tried to con me in, or dupe me into giving her my bank details, which is never, ever, ever gonna happen, ever. You see, so be aware of this person. Her name is, or <laughs> claims to be a person called Lauren Bowen. And the picture that you'll get on the selfie, on the, um, on the profile picture on Messenger, is a young girl with her head tilted that way, wearing a white cap, you know? It's a beautiful profile picture. I just don't believe that is the person who is on the picture. Not by a long shot. Um, if you want to talk to me, that's fine. If you talk to me through uh, Messenger, through Chris's Real Talk, that's fine, no problem with that. If you talk to me through Messenger, through my vaping page, which is just Chris, you know, on, on, on Facebook, not a problem. If you find me on my private one, and you know me, um, I'll talk to you, it's not a problem. I'll talk to anyone, but please, you know, don't try and con me.
Don't try and convince me that updating your apps has to happen through me giving you an Amazon card or my bank details, because that is never gonna happen in a million years. So be on the lookout for this person called Lauren Bowen. If she does start talking to you, or if you do get any emails from a suspicious email that you don't recognize, it is laurenbowen59 at gmail.com. I have reported this person. Um, I've got no issue reporting anyone who I think is trying to swindle money out of myself or anyone that I know at all if you want to report this video fine report this video i'm doing this as a public service to everyone to keep aware of um fraudulent activity online keep yourself safe do not share your bank details with anyone be very aware of what may be happening when you are talking to someone do not be suckered in to sending anyone pictures of yourself or your family this could work in the other direction. They may not want any of your bank details. They may want pictures of yourself um, for blackmail purposes, or they might want images of your family for this, that, and the other. Just don't send anyone anything unless you absolutely are 100% sure you know them, or if you trust them, or if you know it's a secure channel. You know, just don't send anyone anything that they can get you with, basically. So, this is my video for everyone today. You've been watching Chris on Chris's Real Talk. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, and I'll understand there are some people that will dislike it, give it a thumbs down. But please drop a comment below and tell me the reason why you disliked it, or even tell me the reason why you liked it. Um, you know, hit that notifications button. Find me on Facebook. You guys are amazing.